Hello! In this figure we have two concentric circles and a chord AB. The chord has 16 units and it's tangent to the smaller circle. We need to find the area of the shaded region and this is the area between these two circles. And notice that we are not given the radius of either of these circles. So, in general, to find the area of the shaded region, we need to find the area of the larger circle and subtract the area of the smaller circle. Let the radius of the larger circle be uppercase R and let the radius of the smaller circle be lowercase r. Then the area of the large circle will be pi r squared and the area of the smaller circle pi r squared. Then the area of the shaded region will be pi r squared minus pi r squared. So again, the area of the shaded region is pi uppercase r squared minus pi lowercase r squared. Now, let's see how we can use the lengths of this chord to solve the problem. First, we will connect the center with the point of tangency of the smaller circle. Then, this is also the radius of the smaller circle and the angle formed here is a right angle. And this is because a tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of tangency. The radius will also bisect this chord and each half will be 8 units. And this is because a line drawn from a center of a circle perpendicular to the chord bisects this chord. Now we will also connect the center of the circle with point A to form a right triangle. Then in this triangle the upper side is 8 units, the right side is lowercase r and the hypotenuse is uppercase r because it represents the radius of the larger circle. Then using the Pythagorean theorem, we can write that 8 squared plus r squared equals r squared. 8 squared is 64, so now we will have 64 plus r squared equals r squared. Then we will subtract lowercase r squared from both sides and we will have 64 equals uppercase r squared minus lowercase r squared. Now in the expression to the right that represents the area of the shaded region, let's factor out pi. Then we will have pi parenthesis uppercase r squared minus lowercase r squared. Then we will replace r squared minus r squared with 64 and we will get 64 pi. And this is the area of the shaded region. And as you see, to find this area it is enough to know the length of this chord. Now take a look at these two figures. Although the circles have different sizes, both these figures have chords that have the same lengths. This means that these two shaded regions will have the same area. And to find this area, we need to take the chord, divide it by 2, raise it to the second power, and multiply by pi. Thank you for watching the whole video, and if you found it useful, please give me a like. Thank you.